guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator. And we are here at St. Zeno's Lakes, primarily because there's a lot of big bottom feeding types of fish. And why is that important? Well, because we now have bottom fishing rods. Feeder rods, guys. They have been added to the game, along with bite indicators and ground baits and all kinds of goodies for fishing off the bottom. So check it out. Let me go ahead and get to the new inventory here. Yeah, I have got a bottom fishing set up here. And anyway, we've got a look. It's kind of a lower level, but I mean, it's still kind of pricey, 340. But the Kubat C745, that's a nice one to start off with. It's got a pretty good durability to handle some of the bigger fish that can Hand, you know, hang around in here. At least I hope it does. I you know, pretty some pretty heavy duty line, about 14 pound, and a five odd hook. We're going to start off with. We may go smaller than that here, and we got us a feeder reel that is also pretty durable, and we're going to be fishing with both uh, maggots and corn. Now there are bait indicators. The only problem I have with that is that I don't have the cash for them yet. They're $81, and they've got one that lights up, too. But that one's seriously expensive. It's about $225. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I get the cash, and then we're going to put a bait indicator on there. And that's going to make things a little bit easier for us. And we also have a whole other set here that's set up for lure fishing if we decide to switch off. I haven't tried the feeder fishing. I don't know that you can lay the rod down or not. So if you can and can fish with another rod, that'd be awesome. But for sure, I don't know yet. So let's just check it out, see how things work, see what they have been able to do, and we'll go from there. Anyway, okay, I have not been to this lake yet. I don't know if it's, it looks like a good pike location. You got lots of cover here. Pike like that kind of cover. There's a nice tree there. Let's use the hunter vision see if there's anything out there for starters. Okay, there's some smaller fish up there close. All right, let's come over here. Maybe we can find something a little on the bigger side. All right. Takes a while for the hunter vision to kick in. Ah, there we go. This is probably a better area. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to toss this sucker out. We've already got a feeder on there, and we've got some feeder bait in there to attract them. Let's see what it looks like from below here. Or can you do that with this? Me? Oh, you can't. So you do have to rely on your abilities. There's no camera view, guys. So that should make a lot of you happy. Now, I don't see... Okay, your hook size does not match fish in this area. All right. Let's take care of that. We'll go with a little bit smaller hook. What do we got on there right now? I think it was this one. Let's go with this one. So those of you who have had some issues with the camera view, you don't have a camera view for this. And since I don't have any kind of bait indicator, I'm just going to have to keep an eye on this sucker. When something bites, deal with it. But it looks like we got something. There we go. Yeah, this guy's... This is the real thing here. Alright. Oh, they got all my bait in my feeder, little bugger. I wonder what this guy is. Little Crucian Carp. And they've also added ground 
bait that you can throw out to attract them too, guys. We'll go ahead and sell him. Alright, we're going to try throwing it out a little bit further this time. Because I think there's some bigger ones out there. A little bit farther. And this is casting a lot better too. I probably ought to check some of my skill levels because I might be able to add to them. I'm not sure here. Let's just wait and see what happens with this particular spot first. Now, truthfully, look at that. Look at it. There we go. Actually, it might be more, a lot more fun to do it this way. I always like bottom fishing so much better. And I did that without bait in the feeder. You have to have a feeder on there, but you don't necessarily have to have bait. It just makes them more attractive to the fish. Now, this isn't a big fish. This is probably another Crucian carp or something like that, but definitely like bottom fishing. I am a cat fisherman. Yep, it's another Crucian, but not a bad one, honestly. Not a bad one at all, really. All right. Well, we got we got to put some bait in the feeder. How much bait does bait cost? Well, this is what I've got. I've been using. We'll buy a couple of them and then equip it. There we go. Now, I do see some big ones out there, but I think they're pike, guys. And you know what? I'm going to switch. They love this particular lure. This is the Kabat KKW-9. It is a pretty heavy-duty spinner. Let's see, now we got the camera vision again. I'm going to let it go all the way to the bottom. See if I can't do a stop and go with our lift and drop. Boom. Yep, look at that. Stop and go. Seriously? I saw some big fish up there. Maybe there's none in this area, but there are some big ones. Now we'll just reel it in. Let me check the hunter vision again. Now see, that looks like a decent sized fish to me, but maybe I'm wrong. I'll take it down a little bit. Gosh, this is such a good lure, too. That's what it's kind of frustrating. We'll equip the smaller one. I think what I'll do is I will do a slow retrieve just so we can possibly get a look at what's around here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, guys. Maybe there aren't any pike here. Well, or something is. <laughs> Looks like a little perch. Come on, little fella. Come on. I 
He's not too little. I'm telling you, he's he's got some oomph to him. What is going on over there? Gee, Louise. I have ticked him off or something. I don't know what the deal is, but this is not... I don't think he's a little bitty perch. I'm used to dealing with little bitty perch. Yeah, they've really Im seriously improved the fishing dynamics in this game, guys. Uh-oh. There he is. Oh, he's not very big. He's just a hell of a fighter. <laughs> Just a heck of a fighter, that's all. Yeah, let me check my skill levels here. Maybe I can improve a few things. Do I have points? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I already have the Hunter Vision using the Augur. Casting Strength. There's also Hunter Vision 2. I'm going to unlock that. And I'm also going to get strength too to get a better casting strength. Now let's see what the new Hunter Vision does. Oh, nice! And it lasts longer. That's 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 cool. Yeah, if there's nothing big enough for me to use that other lure, I'm kind of thinking I may need to move. Because I want to catch something big if I can. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's walk around the lake. Let's see if there's something on this lake. There's another one over here, I believe. Eh, uh, wasn't there? No, it's over here. Never mind. Let's head over to this lake, see what's over on that side. Oh, what's this? This isn't a lake. Are there fish in it? Yeah. What's up? So this is a little... Is this part of the deal, or... Wait a minute. Let me see this. Here's a little map. Yeah. It's a stream right there. And you can fish out of it too. How cool is that? Let's see what's in here. I'm just going to do a slow retrieve, guys. I really would like to see what lurks in this little stream. Yeah, this is the first stream I've seen in this game. Looks like perch. Yep, I think we got perch right here. So you can fish in any one of those reservoirs and you can also fish right here in this stream as well you know that's pretty cool that is pretty cool I'm gonna go back over here though I really want to get something big perch is fine for most situations but I want to catch something big guys and I don't think think they're over here some over there too but I think what we were looking for is over here so that means we need to switch off to our other rod 
make sure you say use this set otherwise it won't switch sinks to the bottom and we wait yeah I'm gonna have to try the ground bait out here fairly soon but we've got us a bite guys and it is I don't know what it is <laughs> I have no idea what this is gonna be so we're just it could be a crucian, it could be... I don't think it's big. We need to change our hook size. Something a little bit bigger. But they're getting better, guys. It's... It was very arcadey. It's getting a little more and a little bit more realistic each time they make an update. And truthfully, they might be better off to take the camera view off of this because that's one of the biggest complaints a chub oh, okay cool that's one of the biggest complaints I've gotten about this game is that yeah it's a nice thing to have but it's not very realistic and they might be you know they're probably right they're probably right but yeah I think we need a bigger hook our hook is pretty darn small because when I was over there the fish there just weren't that big. This is a bigger hit hook, so let's go ahead and load that one up. Take a look with our hunter vision, make sure we're getting out in a good area, it looks like it. And let's toss her out. Wow, I'm getting some distance now. And we just, wait again, wait. But Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to take my tent drag down a little bit there. Getting the same thing I got earlier. Let's pull this thing a little bit forward. I cast it a little far, so there were some big fish up there. So let's try right here. And if they're still too small, I guess we'll just have to figure something out. Nope, they're not. We have us a big fish, guys. I think we might have us a real fish here. Wow, this guy's tough. We're going to have to wear him out a little bit. Okay, he's getting tired. That's just really, man. I'm going to keep the tension still a little bit low. We don't want to... We don't want to, to take chances here. We, he could be big enough to snap the line. And he could also pull one of those last minute I'm going to run for it things. Here he comes. Channel catfish. 6.58 pounds. I think that's the biggest one I've caught out of here. Nice. Nice fish. This is what I'm after, guys. I love fishing for these guys. That's some good eating. Flay that sucker and put, put corn on him and or cornmeal and deep fry him. Some good eating right there. Let's sell him. All right, I knew there were some big fish down there. I just knew it. We don't really need to toss. Damn. <laughs> don't need to necessarily toss them out that far. Some lively fish. Let me see if there's anything close in there. Oh, yeah. That looks like that might be. Uh, Pike over there. I 
Yeah, when I first came here, I didn't see any pike. And I think they were still... Uh, we got another hook size issue. All right, I think we're going to pull this in. Nothing seems to be going for it this time. No more bait and feeder. That may be part of the problem. All right, I tell you what, let's switch over to our other one. See if we can't possibly scare up. Well, hold on just a second. This bait indicator. How in the world does this thing work? Let me see here. Equip it. Well, that's kind of strange. It's equipped. Not sure what the deal is here. Alright guys, I have this out so far. Nothing is biting for some reason. I'm... Okay. Oh, I'm out of feeder bait. Actually, I'm out of bait. <laughs> it might help if I put some bait on there. What do you think? Think that might help a little? Let's see here. Might be a pretty good thing. Let's see, I've already... Let's go ahead and put one of these on here. Put some corn on there. And let's be done with that. Let's toss that out. I think we're going to throw a little bit of ground bait out there too. But yeah, this has a bite indicator on there now. It does not look like you can put it down on the ground. Yeah, I'm looking to see if there's something that allows you to do that. Now you just hold on to it, and I guess the indicator makes you hear it a little bit better. Yeah, shoot. I'm getting that hook size doesn't match the fish in this area message again. be true. But there's some big fish out there. I've seen them, so... Well, come on, man. Seriously, I don't have a moderate size hook. I've got this one. Uh, this is just too small. I'm afraid that if I put that one on, I'm not going to catch anything bigger than a perch, you know? And if it's still too big, I guess I'm at the wrong part of the lake for the big guys. But like all bottom fishing, there's a lot of waiting involved, guys. Just got to be patient. There it goes. And it was pretty darn easy to hear. Don't think this is very big though. I think this is probably a little guy. No, it's a pike. I mean, he's not huge by any means, that's for sure, but it's a little pike. I'll be darned. I'll be darned. All right, let's take a look around and see what we got. That looks like a pike over there. 
that looks like a big catfish. I think we're going to toss that right out there. Let's see if we can't locate that fella. He may not be interested in it, but it's worth a try. He looked pretty good size. There he goes. Oh, there we go. Now we got us a real fish. Actually, this might be that catfish too, guys. This might be that catfish. No, it's a chub. Thought that was that catfish. He must still be out there. Yeah, there he is. That is a pike right there. I'd recognize that silhouette anywhere. Let me try before we leave, guys. I'm going to switch over to my other gear. And we are going to see if we can't track that guy. I don't think he's very big, though. He's not massive, but... We might be able to get his attention. Oh, do you see that? He went for it, but he missed. <laughs> Big as you please, he went for it and he missed. Alright, let's see. What's a good place to throw here, guys? Let's throw it that way and reel it in. Alright, looks like we have got us something. I don't know if it's a pike or not, but let's take a look, see what it is. Oh, it's a perch. He's fighting pretty darn good. These perch have been kind of ravenous. I mean, he is close to breaking my line. Even with the drag down. Come on. There we go. Now he's just very much a fighter. Alright, let's see here. What is in the vicinity? Yeah, I thought I had hit record fast enough. I didn't get the actual hit. But I'm not seeing a whole lot of big stuff around here, to be honest. So I'll tell you what. I do know where there's some big stuff right over there. At least there was last time. I caught my first grass carp over here in this particular fishery. And we're going to see if they're still over here. It was right around here. Let me make sure here. Check the hunter vision. Yep, there's still some things out there. I think what we'll do is we're going to go back to our other lo gear. Alright, let's switch this over. Use this set. We're going to need a little more bait than that. I'm probably... So what I'm really hoping for is that there's some really large carp right here. Yeah, the carp bring in a lot of money. And they are bottom feeders, so that's going to be... Uh, what should I go for, guys? 
Not that. Not that. Maybe. Yeah. Well, no, that's just Crucian Carp. Says nothing about any of the others. What's this? Chub, Crucian Carp. Crucian Carp. Let's just keep using the corn. Corn's always a good fail safe. There are a lot of fish out there, so this should go pretty well. Let's see here. That is quite the cast. Yeah, with the bite indicator, you can kind of like zone out a little bit, you know? <laughs> Wait till the jingle happens. You don't have to have to be so seriously alert. There we go. We have something, and it is not little. Not little at all. Let's put a little more tension on that. Yeah, I'd like to catch one good size one before we end this episode. But I must say, I'm very pleased with the feeders. The only thing I wish they could improve on, and this is really the only thing, is I wish you could carry or use more than one rod at a time, be able to put the feeders on the ground like you can in some of the you know other games like Russian Fishing 4 they might have that planned I don't know but they have seriously improved the fighting dynamics of the game so it's coming along it's coming along it's the only game I know where you got ice fishing that was all it was? <laughs> Seriously? He was fighting like nobody's business. Half a pound. That's not exactly what I was going for, guys. <laughs> Let me see here. Let me. Get, maybe I need to just change that hook size. I've still got a decent size hook, but I'll put a little bit bigger one on. Hopefully... Let me go ahead and... Th looks like I'm out of feeder bait, too. That might be part of the problem. Whew. I am out of money. <laughs> That's not good. I need to buy... I need to catch me something really big. Something really, really big here, guys. Okay, mirror carp go for that. We'll equip that as well. Let's toss that out there. To get one of those big old mirror carp. There we go, guys. Now, honestly, I have no idea how big this fish is going to be. How can I have no more bait in a feeder? I've got plenty of bait. I'm probably not doing something right. Okay, this... This guy is giving me a bit of a fight. Honestly, couldn't tell you how big he is. But we need a little more tension. And he is coming in now. I don't think he's that big. That's fine. We've had a heck of a good time. We got us a good, good sized channel cat, and we caught us some nice little pike, plenty of crucian carps and perch. Obviously, the feeder fishing is doing very well. This looks like it might not be so bad. Another channel catfish. Not, not bad at all. I'll take him. All right. I think that's a good place to end this, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take a snap of this guy. 
Yeah, he's a nice looking little fish. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. So until then, guys, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.